All right, so you clicked on this video because you want to find out more about the different parts on an asphalt shingle roof. Let's get started. Uh -huh. Hi, my name is Zach Bligensoff. I'm the owner of a company called Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. I'm also a former U.S. military veteran. Oh, thank you, Angie. You're welcome. Is this my coffee? Yep. Oh, perfect. Well, the cup's a little strange, but thank you. Well, I just want to make sure you feel comfortable with who you're getting your information from. Anyway, let's get started with the video. Okay, in this video, we're going to discuss what are the main parts of a roof. Now. In this video in particular, we're gonna discuss mainly an asphalt shingle roof, although it doesn't matter if you have a metal roof or if you have synthetic slate, cedar shake, or whatever that you have up on your roof, it's all gonna be about the same. The components are basically kind of similar, but some things are a little bit different. But in this video, again, we're gonna to stick to asphalt shingles. So we're gonna start going down the list. If you see me look down, we have a lot of stuff to cover today. So I do have notes underneath the camera, so don't kill me for it. So we're going to start off with the shingles. The shingles are what everybody knows that is the main part of the roof. This is what it looks like here. Next you have the ridge. Now the ridge is the highest point of your roof typically. And you're also going to have ridge or what we refer to ridge cap anytime you have two points of a roof meet, you're going to have a ridge. Uh, next you have roof valley and a roof valley is again where two pitch sections come together. Now these are very common to leak, so this is something that you absolutely have to get right. Uh, with that, we have valley underlayment and under, excuse me, valley underlayment and valley flashing. Now typically you use ice and water shield or you use valley metal for this section of the roofing system. Next you have your eaves. The eaves is simply the lowest horizontal point that you have on your roof. So this is an example of eaves. Next we have the soffit. Now the soffit is actually typically a vented area that's underneath your eaves. This is very important for the intake of your roof to work with either your enrichment system or your ventilation system. Now the rake, think of the rake, uh, you'll hear the terms eaves and rakes a lot. The rake is simply a gable part of the roof and it's typically gonna be a roofing, roofing edge uh, on a gable part of a roof. That's what it looks like here in this photo. Uh, next is flashing. Now flashing is a kind of a general term Now we use step flashing, counter flashing, all kinds of different flashing to make sure that the roof doesn't leak. Typically it's made out of metal. So when you hear things about flashing, just know that it's probably made out of metal and it's designed to keep your roof from not leaking in entry points where it may be a little bit difficult to put down uh, some type of underlayment or in a traditional shingle. Uh, next we have drip edge. Drip edge is again as part of flashing. Now that's going to go along the edges of your roof, along the eaves and your rakes. Now sidewall is used with step flashing. Now typically you're going to see sidewall uh, or counter flashing whenever you're, you have a roof in that's going to get siding uh, or some type of, you, know, you have horizontal here and then you have a vertical surface here. So you're going to have some type of sidewall flashing there. Okay, your hip end is kind of like a, is a a better word for it, I guess, would be a, a hip ridge. Uh, so just like a gabled ridge, it's gonna be at the end point part, part of your hip roof. Uh, next, you have a dormer. Now, dormers are very, very popular uh, in two-story homes. And what it's designed to do is give a little bit extra space into a small room. That's where you're gonna see dormers at. Uh, typically, there's gonna be valleys there, and they are very difficult to, to flash properly. So dormers are somewhere that you're gonna have a lot of leaks if your roofing system's not installed correctly. All right, next you have an abutment. Okay, that, the term actually is where you have a slope, a slope part of the roof going into a vertical area. So all, all you need to know about that term is it's where you have an intersection of the roof. Uh, next you have gutters. I think we all know what gutters are, but in terms of this video, we are doing information. So gutters is simply lined along the easier roof to be able to catch rainwater as it's coming off and debris off your roof and then it's going to go down our next turn which is downspout so it collects into the vertical area and there's going to be horizontal downspouts to push out the water away from your home 
Next you have fascia. Now fascia is going to go all along the eaves and your rakes of your roof. And this is going to be a flat, typically wood area that's going to run along the edges. Now that can be damaged when you install gutters, so it's important that you are checking your flashing and making sure it's not getting damaged by, by water or you're getting splashed back out of your gutters. If your gutters overflow, your fascia is definitely going to be getting damaged. So gable roofing or a gable roof, as I got to discuss earlier, think of it as like a triangle. So it's going to be two points that are coming together. It's the most common type of roof that you see in the United States. You also see hip roofing a lot, which is more of a trapezoid or a triangular type shape. A gable roof is a simple two points meeting together look, very simple. Uh, so your roof trusses and your rafters are both designed to support the decking of your roof. Now these are very, very important. It's very important that these are not damaged because they're the support system or uh, basically what's underneath the foundation of your roofing system. So next we have vent pipes or plumbing vents. Now I'm sure you've seen the PVC pipes that's coming out of the roof. They're very, very easy to see. I typically like them painted uh, just because it makes the roof look better, more aesthetic. Uh, but those are designed to vent unwanted smells from your home out through the roof so you're not having to smell it inside the house. Okay, so the next part of the roofing set we're going to talk about is chimney. Now, most everybody knows what a chimney is, but just in case you don't, it's the ventilation system for your fireplace. Next is ice and water shield. Now we've done a lot of videos about ice and water shield because we think it's a very, very important component of the roof. But basically in a nutshell, ice and water shield is designed to prevent ice dams on your roof and also to provide an extra layer of leak protection underneath your shingles and against areas where you have protrusions. So next you have your decking. Now your decking is the foundation of your roofing system. We build everything above the decking. Your decking, decking is typically going to be made out of some type of plywood, OSB, tongue and groove, or some type of plank board underneath your shingles and all that stuff. So that again, that's, that's your foundation of the roof. Now if you are in the market for a new roof, you can go down below in the description section. We have a couple of links that helps you find a contractor local into your area. These are all qualified guys that we definitely recommend. However, you need to make sure that you're asking your contractor and if you start bringing up some of these terms and they don't know them, you probably do not have the best contractor. So just something you might want to look out for. Thank you so much for watching the video. We really appreciate it. And if the information was helpful, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, here's your official invitation to subscribe to Digital Roofing Innovations. Remember, Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values. Let's go.